able to go and not run into each other. We'll see how that Trust works. Me, not running. Now, give me some music. Right yes, here. You, you guys want to yell on your punches? Go. Run. Contact. I mean 20% speed, 
I didn't mean 20% laziness, I meant 20% contact. You want to understand? This is approximately 20% contact with me. Still more than enough. You want to understand? This is, sir, how I treat my gear when I get home area. Family and friends, don't answer. But look at me, because I'll know the answer. When your student gets home, when I say student, your child gets home, they have their gear back. Is it option A, drop it wherever there's an open space, or is it option B, Put it in the proper space that it's supposed to go. <clears throat> What's more scary is if you're willing to treat my studio that way, what are you doing at home? Actually, I'll tell you a pet peeve, family and friends. Don't let me catch you doing it. Feet on my wall. Like I'll see kids with their feet on over and stuff like that. I know you don't let them do it at your house. Does everyone understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow and next week, I'm going to be on the lookout. You know how long it's been since I've demoted someone, sir? It's probably been 10 years since I've demoted someone. Did. Now, people actually don't believe me. I did this to a family member of mine. Sent her from green belt all the way back to white belt. <laughs> Thanksgiving was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I gave her warning after warning after warning. She was a teenager on the way that uh, proper etiquette and the way things were, and she didn't want to listen. Okay? Let's have that conversation. So if I'm willing to send my own family member back five ranks, what do you think I'm willing to do to you guys? <laughs> Worse. I don't have to go to your Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone stand up! Yes, Face your partner, say my hands up! Hit up! Yeah. Sorry, 30% contact! Everyone understand? Yes, sir. Watch your controls, 30% contact. We're just getting warmed up here. Mr. Cunningham. Yes, sir. Give me some music, please. Go! This is how we do oh, it. Thank you. 
showing proper respect to their partner in the sense of underestimating someone and not giving them the proper respect to do. Okay? Now, what do I mean by that? The only time, and I'm talking almost 30 years in martial arts, the only time I've ever gotten a black eye was from a little 11-year-old blonde girl that weighed like 62 pounds. <laughs> uh, she may have weighed like that. She, she, she was, okay? But she full on gave me a black eye with a right cross. You remember her name? You know? Uh, nope. Anyone know? Her name was Cassidy Brewer. Oh. And, and family and friends, if you don't know, Cassidy Brewer, in fact, you can go on YouTube and you could type it in, and her story is incredible. She had a brain aneurysm. I got a phone call from her mom one day. She was supposed to be coming to help out in class. And there was just something weird. I was speaking on the floor. I was like, man, I should go check my cell phone. This is like a whole story. I won't tell the whole thing. But it's actually like, I'll get emotional, so I won't tell the whole thing. It's all cry. I went into my office, there was just something that said, you need to check your cell phone, and I got a thing, and I could hear the helicopter as her mom's leaving me a message as they were life flighting her down to Radio Children Hospital. She had had a, a brain aneurysm, and her mom got her to the hospital, and whoo, whoo. Anyways, uh, remarkable story because I was teaching, I remember I had some instructors that were working for me. I said, you guys got this? And they said, yeah. I was just headed straight down to the hospital. Um, family and friends, if, if, if you know, you know. If you're a black belt here, you're family. Like, we're, you're family. Something happens, you call us. I'll be there. Mr. Cunningham or Mr. Bates, we will be there. That was something where I felt her family needed support. I was there. The crazy part was, I got there like 20 minutes after the family did. And they were like already on their way. I was probably speeding a bit. Now, why do I tell all this? Well, she had, family and friends, just so you know, she had, uh, the doctors came out that day and they told the family and friends, all of the family, you should probably start making funeral arrangements. She's not gonna make it. She came back and tested for her second degree black belt. In fact, when she did, we had a whole TV show come out and it was such an amazing story and produced, they took over my studio for like three days. It was really cool. Was anyone around for the board break of thong? Were you? Yeah, you remember that? Anyways, family friends, if you ever get a chance, go on YouTube, Cassidy Brewer, and I think I've got a copy of the TV show. It's just really cool stuff. Anyways, we were doing something one day, okay? This is before she had her aneurysm, but she's this tiny little petite blonde thing. And we're, I was doing uh, street sparring, but I was taking out like four kids at once, okay? And I'm like, you do. The rule was if I submitted one kid, they were out, they couldn't come back. Now, I wasn't knocking kids out, okay? But if they, I got them into an arm bar or a chokehold and I sunk it, they were out. She got in front of me, okay? And Mr. Hoffman was like on my back. He was another guy that I had up here, was on my back. She looked at me and she's like, uh oh, this is the wrong place to be. Because even though someone's on my back, I was like, oh, you, you're next. She turned around and I. I grabbed her belt as she started to try to run away. As I pulled her, she turned towards me and right across, right on the face. Here's the funny part, okay? No bad face mask, nothing, okay? And we didn't have gear on. She just bang, right in my eye. My head snapped back. I had a student, he was like 11 or 12 years old, on my back at that point, my head, uh, my neck opened up, what did he do? Oh. <laughs> Okay, but you guys, if, 
when I started these little guys. I'm very aware that if you kick somewhere, you could hurt me. Okay? But so many of you are sparring other people where you're kind of just like, I'll give you an example. There's quite a few young men in here who are kind of going like this with the ladies. That lady may smoke you. Okay? Give her good sparring and give the respect that way. You do not respect people in Taekwondo by sparring like a level two. Does anyone understand that? Sure. Yes. I've seen it, and it's all sorts of different things. Now, family friends, I understand some of the young men, and they're getting to the, that age of, oh, for a girl, or a teenager, it's going to be a little awkward. Get over it. Because I promise you, a lot of the ladies in here will gladly kick you in the face. <laughs> okay? Now, there's a flip side to it, too. Young men, when you're firing a lady, you still should be courteous and respectful. Because Miss Rentar is massively talented. But massively talented. I can just go down the, the list here with a whole bunch of the young ladies in here. Okay? But if you and I really started fighting, it's not going to end well for her. So I have to show her the respect for her capability. But I also have to be courteous and be respectful and realize that as a full grown man, I can pick her up and snap her like a twig. So there's a fine line of how I'm supposed to act. Does everyone understand? It's with courtesy. It's not with overconfidence. Ego. And I see some of you. Ha ha ha. You're being disrespectful. Stop it. If you are so much more, bear with me, I'm going to say something really unpopular here. Some of y'all are more talented than some of y'all. That's just how life is. If you are massively more talented than someone, great. Whatever level they're at, spark one level above them. Work on your control and make sure they get better. Does everyone understand? Yes, sir. And don't turn it into this thing where it's like, oh, ha, ha, and they get nothing out of it and you get nothing. That's just wasting time. Show respect to your opponent. Don't underestimate them. Because even when I spar a little six, seven, eight year old, trust me, I don't. Family and friends, I've been blasted downstairs by some little kids before. I know it hurts. I still show respect to them. Okay? And I allow them to try to work to get better. I just won't let you win. When you beat me, you'll know you win. That's just unpopular and bad thing. Back to your set points. Let's go. Yes, Here we go. Face the partner. Okay, tournament's coming up, guys. 
Okay, and I hope a lot of you in here are going to go compete. Okay, now I just want to make this really clear. If you're going to go compete, family and friends, if you're not aware, we are past our, our grace period with MMAA. They must have should some pick one of here to go compete. Okay, so if you guys want to go compete, you got to have it. If you don't have it, talk to us. We'll make sure we get to you. But I would love. We're trying to get 25 to 50 competitors to go support Master Kramer, and you guys for yourself too. Everyone understand? Yes, sir. Cool. So we're going to work on um, some sparring drills, and our sole purpose is just to work on footwork and getting points. Everyone got it? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. With our partners here, all we're going to continue to work on, because I keep saying it, and I'll keep doing it until I can teach an advanced class one day, and I see 90% acceptance of this one concept. And it's very simple. Don't step. Don't telegraph. Does everyone understand? Yes, sir. Our goal is very, very simple. I'm trying to pick up my front leg, okay, bring my knee up and forward, and simply get my foot right there. Notice, I didn't, you guys, I don't have to do this. Why? That's not the game we're playing. If I can get my foot up right here, boom, there it is. That's a point. Okay? I need enough to get my foot on the target and drive. And in fact, I love that because that becomes more of a push kick, right? I'm trying to bring it up. Boom, got him. So that I can follow up. Everyone understand? Yes. But nowhere in there do I do this. Everyone watch. Family and friends, we can take that. What am I going to see? I don't want to see that. I want what? Up and go. Then he gets to go. You better kick the ball, my belt, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone understand? Back and forth, front leg up. And you guys, it's not, I don't even care if it's a side kick. I just want your foot. I kind of do a, a side front round kick kind of. Side front round. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> up and in. Brown. A frown. Brown. Brown kick. Because if you land it, they're going to have a frown. <laughs> 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 All right, does everyone understand? Yes, sir. Put it right above their belt. Do not kick head level. What I really want to do, stand up, Mr. Mentor, is if I can get my foot on that and push, watch what happens. Where'd her head go? Like this. It's like it's gift wrap for me. It says, kick me here. Does everyone understand? It's like a silver platter. I love that. You guys get to break down their structure and they do this. It is. Hey, go time for my right foot. All right, back over to your partner, that frown kick, okay? Do not step. Closest to the final strike sign, you're going to go first. Call out your partner if they step. Hey, uh, what did Master Urban say for those that are on instructor college this weekend? What did he say? What did we talk about? What? Don't celebrate mediocrity. What did he say? Don't celebrate mediocrity. That's like, don't celebrate being average. Don't be okay with being okay. Don't be okay with being okay. Okay? It doesn't mean that you need to be rude about it, but you guys can certainly say you did that wrong and help them get better. Back and forth. Go. Is it? Is it? Forward, sir. 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 For
I'm just messing with someone right now. Hold on. <laughs> right? Okay. Guess what, though? It's not going to see you. People over here, too. People over there. I don't want to fight square. This redo, this, look, punch, this doesn't even make sense. Round kicks. You should be anywhere between 20 and probably 45 degree blade or angle to your partner. Does everyone understand? Yes, sir. This foot's not behind this other foot. This puts me on a tightrope and this is very unstable. Now I've got some width that I can strike. Boom, hit, round kick. I can get my right side or my back side in the fight. Does everyone understand? Yes, sir. If I want to move forward, look, my foot's forward or at an angle, and then I come up, and then what does it do? Then it pivots. As I'm already going forward. Does everyone get that? Yes. Good, let's fix it. Practice, go. Yes, sir.